Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol JDST. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. If you're not sure what I mean by 30-minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. Did this analysis on Wednesday, so that is where the green line annotations are coming from. And that's also where this initial big question mark comes into play. And the question mark has to do with the fact that, technically speaking, yeah, the price did break down below that level of support that I talked about yesterday. And the thing is that the price spent essentially all afternoon long above that level. You can see the price was doing a fantastic job of consolidating, and then, like I said, the last couple of candles showed up, and enough to push the price down below that level. Now, the thing with support levels and resistances is they're not exact specific prices. There is a range element associated with it, so I'm still going to consider this an area of support, but you got to admit the fact that, well, technically speaking, the price is actually below this area, so it's at the bottom portion of the quote-unquote kind of range we'll talk about with these levels of support. So the big question here becomes, is this the start of a bigger breakdown? Is the price gonna get, you know, garner that much more downwards momentum and potentially take it down to that area of support, which I've talked about in past videos, which is very important down here around the $1.23 mark. I'm not saying for sure that'll happen. My point is, is that it's at least a rational thought to have right now that something like that could be in store where the price has now begun to pick up that much more downwards momentum. Now, the, the best case scenario, is just to have the price all of a sudden go sideways and then snap back up, and there we go. All these talking points that I've just gone through was a waste of breath because no, there was no downwards momentum, and now things have totally turned back around and everything's you know perfectly fine. Uh, but the point here being, yeah, things are definitely looking a little bit shaky here. If the price does bounce back up, key area to watch from the resistance side of things gonna be right up here at $1.41, so that'll be the main level. But like I said, in my opinion at least, top priority is not necessarily breaking up above $1.40. It's just seeing if the price can, you know, go sideways even at least, which would suggest that this is not the start of a bigger, you know, momentum movement to the downside. But Friday gonna be very interesting. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.